Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is War Wordle, where you're guessing a portmanteau of two different words. And so I'll start with ports. Ooh, that right word. S-P-R. Is it just spray? Please be spray. Oh, whoa, syrup. Hey, I just started with syrup yesterday in Wordle. All right, left word. Hmm. Why am I thinking about druid? Sure, why not? Well, that's why not, because U doesn't go there. Okay, well, R isn't second. <laughs> what a wasted guess. Oh my gosh. Um, good, off to a good start here, for sure. Well, there's there could be an E in the word. Hmm. Does it start with R? Like re... something? <laughs> I don't know. Um... I get, is there something that ends in U-R? That, I've been trying to think if there is, but it doesn't feel good to me. So R, something, something, U. What, what are we doing there? After the R, I feel like it's got to be the E or another U. Ooh, could it be rural? No, it can't be rural for a lot of reasons. What am I doing? Uh, re... Are you? Like, ru... ru Hmm. How about re Rebus doesn't work because there's no S. But I'm going to guess it anyway just to see if we're on the right track here. Or should I just do it? Nah, I'll just do Rebus. Okay, so it's E something you are. Oh, femur. I didn't I think of that before. Okay, well, I should have gotten femur earlier, but that's okay. I still had a guess remaining, so not too bad. Um, Druid wasn't possible. Rebus wasn't possible, but it did get me there. Cool. Let's do Fibble. Each guess has a lie in it. So probably that M is lying, but we're going to use it anyway. And we're going to do an M-A word. Um, how about March? Well, the M is still green. I see no contradictions here. So we're going to use M-A again. But then we have to use the uh, H without a C, and that seems hard. Hmm. I'm thinking we use a different letter from Manly and we ignore the H. Let's do that. Um, what can I do? Melt? I don't really want to do melt because I don't think that'll be on the answer list. Um, what if we ended in Y? Can't do Mercy. That's way too close to Merch. Um, mercy would have been a pretty good guess for guess two, though. How about just, like, messy? Okay, so there's there's a lie between this Y and this Y, which means we are correct about there being an M first. Um, that's the only contradiction we've got, and there's no other commonalities between manly and messy. So I'm going to do another MY word. And as long as I use all new letters, it'll work. Um, What can I do? Thinking M O or M I. Um, I don't see what to do there. I want to do S T Y, but I can't. Um, Hmm. And you? Not seeing it. So maybe we don't use the Y. Maybe the Y is out. So we'd have to use an N or an L. Um, month? Month actually works. Okay, let's do that. Oh, we know that's the lie. That's nice. So we know that there is an O. We also know there's no N. So it's M O, and then there needs to be a letter from Manly. Maybe there is an M O O O. Sorry, an M O something something Y. Oh, could we do a double O? Would that work? Mo Moxie is is not two X's, right? No. <laughs> um, M O something Y, or double O. I mean, 
or M O U Mou Mousy can't do Mousy. Uh, Moy something. <laughs> hmm. What if I did movie? Oh no, that doesn't work. I need I need to include a letter from Manly. What about M O L? Um, what could what I do? Like M O L something E or E something two lies. Oh, I'd have to include. Okay, so if this Y is not the lie, the Y in messy is not the lie, then I have to include a Y somewhere else. So I'm just going to assume that that Y is the lie. But it could be a lie as, as having no Y. In which case, yeah, I just need to do M O L and then new letters. Somehow. Hmm. If I include the A, I would need to include the H as well, and I don't see how I'd do that. I mean, I see mold, but... Oh, you know what? There's the, there's the British spelling of mold. Okay, well, this is the lie again. There is a D in the word and no U, so M-O... Oh, Moody! Ah, I couldn't think of Moody for some reason. I feel like I had that when I was looking af at Messy. Or after, right, when I was looking, uh, when I eventually guessed month, yeah, guess three here. No, guess four, sorry. I forget that this game doesn't start you with a, a word. Uh, guess four here, month. I was trying to think of an M something, something, something Y, and I couldn't think of Moody. Interesting. Okay, well, they're not too bad. Uh, we got lucky that the M was lying two times in a row. Super lucky. Um, really interesting that the Y lied twice, and it was supposed to be green. All right. Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Hmm. Plastic, foil, cellophane. Hmm. Elastic. Bassinet. Um, it's like for babies, right? Harpoon is weird. Are there other like hunting hunting instruments? <laughs> hunting weapons? Hmm. I don't see it. Harpoons are long and thin. Cylindrical. Hmm. Gloves and jackets and masks you wear at in the winter time when it's cold. Um, mask, jacket, glove. What would go with that? I like how we have lumber and limber. Uh, I'm not seeing another thing that you'd wear in the winter, so maybe that's a red herring. Plod. What would plod mean? Like like plodding, like like walking? Um plodding along, something like that. Tr plod and trudge. Th those actually seem similar. Um maybe stomp. Hmm. What's another like walking word? Like weird ways to walk. Um or like dragging your feet, right? I don't see it. We just have organism. <laughs> organism. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, supple's like an adjective. So is limber. Limber's an adjective. Do we have other adjectives? Elastic is an adjective. Yeah, and these are all like adjectives for like malleable. Hmm. I'm not seeing another one though. What what is with this? I feel like I've got the categories and I can't find the fourth one for any of them. Plastic maybe? Maybe plastic. I'm going to try this. Yes, flexible. Yeah, it's a weird it's a weird use of plastic, but I I do I have seen that to to mean flexible. It's, just, it's not the noun, it's the adjective. All right. Um 
what do we have? Okay, I still think trudge, plod, and stomp go together. I just, I don't see what else goes with it. Okay, I'll ignore that for now. Hmm. Okay, lumber. Let's think about lumber. I, I don't. What would what would go with lumber? Like, is it is it that lumber is cylindrical and so are harpoons? Like, you could get you can have foil and cellophane in like cylindrical form. So, like things that come in cylindrical form that seems a little bit odd to me. Um, but let's think about what else we'd have, because I feel like we'd still have plod, stomp, and trudge together. So plod, stomp, trudge. So we'd be left with organism, glove, bassinet, jacket, and mask. I feel like glove, bassinet, jacket, and mask might go together. And then we'd have organism with stomp, plot, and trudge. That that seems way out there. I don't know what organism would go with those. What's like? Let's think about it this way. What's a phrase that involves organism? I really can't think of one. Hmm. Yeah, okay, maybe that's not the, the way in then. All right, well, I mean, I've got a plenty of mistakes left, so I'm going to try Lumber, Harpoon, Cellophane, and Foil, and I, I don't think it's right, but we'll see. No. And it's not even one away. Okay, so I'm not on the right track. Yeah, I didn't think so, because I didn't think the rest of these split up properly. But I wanted to see, because sometimes I'm just like, I have the category and I don't lock it in. Um... Should I see if jacket, mask, and glove, and bassinet are like at least one away? Because if they are, then I'm pretty confident about mask, jacket, and glove. So let's try it. That is one away, so not bassinet. So what are we doing in the winter? Like things you put on in the winter? What else could this be? Like what other category would this be? Mask, glove, jacket. Harpoon. I don't know. Um, so it's not bassinet. I didn't think it would be. Cellophane? I mean, lumber would be like things lumberjacks wear in the winter. I don't know. Like, that seems way out there. I only have one more wrong guess, and I don't really want to use it up on something silly. So let, let's hold this. We, we, we're pretty sure these three go together, so let's just hold on to that. Um, let's try to find another category. Trudge, stomp, plod. I mean, I could see if this is one away to see if I'm on the right track with that. Um, Thing is, none of these are even like verbs. Unless foil, like so, like a foil in like a, a novel, right? A foil to the main character, to the, to the protagonist, is someone who's similar the, to the protagonist, I think, but then goes a different way. Like is kind of the opposite in in similar but opposite. I don't know if I'm explaining that well. I don't think I understand it that well, but I could see that being like. A hindrance, right? A foil is a hindrance. Plod and trudge, some is being hindered. I don't know. This feels really wrong, but it'll at least tell me if I'm one away on plod, stomp, and trudge. So that's my last mistake. One away. Okay. So, I mean, it's these three again. Uh, unless unless foil goes in here, and there's something else that kind of gets in your way. But I'm out of mistakes, and I'm really okay. So let's say it was harpoon. What, what would it be harpoon? I don't really see how. Like I've been harpooned. 
is that a saying that someone would say when they're when they're being dragged? So if that's the case, what would Stomp go with? Cellophane. I mean, I feel like cellophane and foil, they want us to put those together because they're both things that you could like put on leftovers. But I don't know what else you put on leftovers. So I haven't really brought it up, but I did see that. And they were all on the top at the beginning. Um, which, which made me think that they wanted us to try that, <laughs> so I didn't. Um, plod harpoon trash foil. I don't know. Okay, so organism. It's got to be a fill in the blank, right? Darn, I'm not. I'm not getting it. Cellophane is see through. It's um, it covers things. I don't know what else would be a property of cellophane. Um, is cellophane a song? If so, I don't know any of these songs, so it doesn't really help me. Um, so, so the things that are really bothering me are cellophane and organism. I just saw it. I just saw it. I haven't seen the others, but organism starts with organ and cellophane starts with cello. Bassinet starts with bass. What's the other instrument? Harpoon starts with harp. What are you doing? Okay, at least it was the purple. Words beginning with instruments. Wow. Okay, I, I don't know how I saw that. That is insane. Okay, well. Okay, what now? So we've got jacket. We knew that jacket, glove, and mask was one away. Or th these four were one away. No, not foil. Oh, it was bassinet that I put with it. So these three do go together because bassinet is gone. And then I also know that Stomp, Plud, Trudge, and Foil. Oh, Lumber. I think Lumber does mean to uh, Stomp, Plud, uh, sorry, Stomp, Plud, Trudge, and Lumber. Yeah, it's like someone's lumbering. I didn't think of that because I kept thinking of Lumber as the wood. Yeah, Walk Heavily. Okay, so I was right about that. Mask, Glove, Jacket, Foil. I don't know what Foil has to do with this, but maybe they're talking about like the shiny parts of like, have you seen people in uh, like Antarctica getting all their gear on? I feel like there's some foily stuff there, but maybe I'm wrong. Fencing equipment. I was wrong. <laughs> the foil is the is the sword, right? Wow! Come on, fencing equipment. <laughs> that. <laughs> I mean, I got it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. I'm not slowly going into going insane because of connections. It's okay. Uh, well, I got it. I got. I used up all my mistakes, but I got it. Um, how'd you do today? All right, let's play War Wordle. This is a game where you need to guess a portmanteau of two different five-letter words. So, if for example, if I want to start with stare, I then think of another word that starts with R E. And so I, I combine it with a different five-letter word. It doesn't have to make any sense at all. It's just basically two five-letter words that share the middle, the, the last two letters of the first word and the and the first two letters of the last word. So I just need a I just need like a repay. So this is stare and repay or stare repay. Okay. And the clues work just like Wordle. So we know there's one A in the word because we tried two and one of them's gray. And then there's a T in the word. But it doesn't have to be like the T and the A are part of the first word. They're just anywhere in this portmanteau. So I don't know. Let's let's move the T A first for lack of anything better to do. Um let's see. And they do have to be two five letter words. What should I do? Um how about talon and then a word that starts with O N? Um I'm not seeing an O-N word. That's, I didn't make it easy on myself, did I? Uh, all right, let, not Talon then. <laughs> um, hmm. 
Hmm. What if I do to oh no, I was gonna say today, but there's no why. Um I don't have to do TA. I don't even have to start with T, but I do have to use maybe maybe I put TA in the middle to, to have both words share it. Ending in TA, what would I do? Like I thought of Vista, but there's no S. Um hmm. made it hard on myself again. How about A T? Hmm. All right. Let's just start with T. Let's do touch, and then we'll we'll do C H A. Oh, I can't do champ. Come on, I'm so close. How about chain? Touch and chain. Well, that is amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, so it's got to be Och. So let's do botch, and then C H China. Botch China. Notch China? Or I guess it's gotta be notch. Notch China. Oh, there's a notch in your China? Yikes. That's a shame. Alright, got it in four. Not bad. How'd you do? Alright, let's play polygonal. So uh we're an expert. It's an eight-letter word, and these this letter repeats over here, and this letter repeats over here, and none of the other ones repeat. So I'm thinking ST and then end in TS. Seems like a good idea. And then we just need all different letters. Just. <laughs> we could do STR. That kind of helps fill in some. Uh, hmm. But uh, how are we ending in TS? That, that is actually a good question. You've heard of angst. Have you heard of stringst? Oh, no, that's TS, though, not ST. Um, I'm thinking about just, it's a plural of a word ending, a seven letter word ending in T. Um, but what, what it would be a seven letter word ending in T? STR. No, I don't think that works. What if, what if I did like a, like a TR instead? Tra, I don't know. I don't like that either. What if I did a, a an ER word, ER word, so it starts with R-E? Uh, reminder. Okay, it is an R-E word. Okay. Re... I mean, is it is it like I-N-E-R? Re refiner? Re recliner? Ooh, close. Re... Uh... Re. <laughs> I keep wanting to do reshiner, but I don't think that's gonna be it. Uh, is there like a is there like another vowel I could include here? Retainer, retainer. Got it. Nice. Got it in three. Hexpert. That was pretty good. Um, how many words were there? <laughs> this list is weird on the eyes. Whoa. Okay, well, there were 44 ordinary words, but I can't look at this too long. That is crazy. Okay. <laughs> cool. Well, let's do the mini. Oh, it's another sheet day. Okay. Um, ooh, the T is interesting. Something like tally. Nope. Um, it could be a double T, actually. It could be something like, I was going to say batty, but not batty. Uh, definitely not. What would go after TT if not a Y or an S? O or something? Can't do an A. Huh. Motto. No, it doesn't. We can't repeat the O. Oh. Um. All right. Let's do T second then. What would go before a T second and then have a double letter after it? I mean, this would have to be double O, right? It just doesn't work. Okay, it's got to be TT, and I just I don't know what goes after the TT right now. Um, oh, you're just gonna make me think of the word? Is that is that what's happening here? I have to actually use my head and think of the word. That's not gonna happen. Um, ditto. All right, found it. 
you know, I think the younger generation may not know. Uh, you're probably familiar with the word ditto to mean like repeated, like I agree. Now, ditto was actually a way that you copied paper before copy machines. So you'd actually have like a um, a ditto copy of something because you'd have two sheets on top of each other. Uh, forgive me if I'm ex explaining this wrong because this actually predates me, or at least I was a kid at the time. But like you'd end up making multiple copies of it by writing on it. I think that was called ditto, or maybe it was more of a tech that would actually copy it, copy a, a paper without having to write on it with both of them there. I don't know. Uh, you know what? Let's look it up. Let's look up ditto. Uh, ditto copier. Okay, well, you obviously know ditto from Pokemon. I didn't, I forgot about that. But it was a special paper with carbon on the bottom. And then you'd have a machine where you'd have another piece of paper over it. And then um, it would, it would transfer it to the other sheet and you could copy to make like 40 copies out of one master okay well let's do symbol i will start with blaze nothing from blaze we'll do toxin nothing from toxin i it's been so long i forget what i do after toxin um let's come up with something um the only vowel left is u so we got to use a u how about shuck whoa shuck Okay, so we only have Y's in the word. And we end with S H U C, S H U or C, not a U. We don't end with U. Uh, hmm. This should be obvious, but I don't have any of the letters. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I don't think we end in H, do we? Glyph? No, there's no L. See, glyph would end with H. Um, let's look at like YPH. I only see glyph. Can't be dryly. I'm trying to think of like all of the <laughs> Y only words. Uh, nymph? No. Because there's no N. Okay, it doesn't have to end in H. We could, let's look at C. I don't know how, how would we end in C without any vowels other than Y? It doesn't make sense. S feels like it would be a plural. What if it was double S though? Like Y double S? Hmm. I mean, I could see it happening, but I'm not seeing it in this case. The letters we have left. Um, oof. Okay, what about ending? Okay, we tried C. It's C H or S. I think I think it's got to be Y P H. Or what about like Y R P H? Ooh. Um, R Y P H. Drift. Oh no. <laughs> There's like one word left and I can't find it. I might have to do a filler, which is unfortunate, but I mean it is it is what it is. Um I'd probably do glyph as a filler. Let's just do it. It does end in H, it doesn't end in PH. The second letter is probably the Y, because there has to be a Y in the word, right? So it's gonna go where that yellow is. The blue moon is meaning yellow. Uh, which makes perfect sense. Um, mer, mer. Oh, it's mer. It's mer. Okay. Well, glyph helped <laughs> only a little bit, but it made me think about mer. The fact that mer is on the answer list is absolutely insane, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Mer was always going to be a tough day for the Blaze Talks and Start. That's for sure. <laughs> Cool, Mern 5, I'm happy with that. 
Let's do Fusel. Every guess has a twist. So let's start with Mur. Nothing for Mur. Okay, I have to put a vowel here and at the end. Let's put an E at the end. Maybe an A here. Um, maybe do an ace to trap word. Let's do paste. Not an ace trap word. Okay, let's do... Oh, we're, we're TA again. <laughs> uh, let's put the TA over here so that we actually know where they end up. Um, so like... TA here, what would I start with? Or AT maybe? At Atlas? No, I don't want to repeat. Oh, actually, repeating the A wouldn't be terrible. Um, but I don't want to use the S. So. Okay, there, there must be some other way to do this. An A here and then a T at the start, like Tiara? No. Can't do TR. TL isn't a thing. TOA. Let's do like. I can't do toast. <laughs> uh. Is there not another TOA word? I mean, I could just guess total. It's not terrible because it'll help find the T. I won't know where the A is, but that's not the biggest deal. And it could be the answer, so let's do it. Okay, so there's one T, and it's maybe at the end, because I don't see how it would go second. Um, and there is an O in the word, so maybe we're OAT like this, like bloat. Okay, there was one lie, and the lie has to be the A. So I'm assuming we were L. Okay, so we're LT here. Uh, is it AL? Or does the A go here, and then... Oof. So we can't do OAT, and that's weird. And the lie is the A, so the other things are true. Aloft. I think the answer is aloft, but I'm not allowed to guess a real word. So we're going to change the L and the T to other common letters just to be, you know, just to, in case I'm wrong about aloft. Um, let's get the G as well. Why not? Wait, how could it have been aloft? The O couldn't have been there. All right, well, it's A L something O T. Oh, no, I'm not allowed to guess O. Uh, well, what is it? Um, a L. Oh, is it a, a lot? Allet? Wait. It's a lot, right? Like to a lot something. Well, I have to test that because I can't guess the O. If I just guess something like, I don't know, tally, that'll test the double L. All right, so it, it is a lot. That's forced. Okay. Like an allotment, right? Cool. Let's play Don't Wordle. We're thinking, it is thinking of a secret word and I'm trying not to guess it. Harder than it sounds. All right, nothing from Kayak. Let's do Xylo. I'm not really liking the Xylo follow-up, except when it's all gray. When it's not all gray, it's not great. Um, okay, and then we do Coco. Okay, there's a yellow O. We have to use it. Um, Preferably with uncommon letters, or a lot of repeated letters. Mm. I can't put it second, which is really making things tougher. I'm thinking about doing something similar to visor. I don't think I want the S and the R right now, but like... Like an I-O here. Like Vigor? I guess Vigor's not terrible. Let's just do it. There's a V in the word? Oof. Okay, well, let's at least figure out what the word is. So probably the O is in the middle. But where does the V go? That's actually a weird, isn't it? Maybe it's O-V-E. That actually is not weird at all. So something like Stove would be an option. Um. What else? There's no R or L, so that actually really limits what this could be. Shove, stove, and shove. Um, let's see if let's see if there's other like like seove or snove or smove. I'm just if if any of these lock in, that'll be helpful. But also at this point, I might want to use an undo. 
Because I think, you know, it's between stove and shove in my head. Is there anything else I could start with? Is there like a, a OV word I could do? Like overt, right? But there's no R. Uh, let's do ovens, actually. Yeah. Because plurals aren't the answer. So I think, oh, the V is second. It's none of the things I was thinking of. It's E V O. If I did stove, would I be able to do ovens after? I mean, I think it's evoke is, what, is probably the answer. What's the other option, though? Um, I mean, it's got to be EV, right? There's nothing else that goes before that V. Um, and then the O has to go in the middle. So it is EVO. Um, I could try all the other ones, like evowed, evote, evote, <laughs> ev <laughs> no, evope. E evu, <laughs> evode, evof, evohi. Oh, it was evohi. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Yay! All right. Well, those are the games for today. Hope you enjoyed them. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.